First thing I would do with the Fed is to get them out of the forecasting business. They're lousy at it. The Fed did not forecast up until up until the early 90s. Uh, they didn't they they didn't even tell you what their Fed federal funds target is, their interest rate. Guys would get this data every Wednesday night and they would massage the data the wee hours of the morning trying to figure out what is the target that the Fed has because they didn't announce it. More recently, they've gotten bitten by the transparency bug. And I think that was a product of the financial crisis. Uh, a lot of things were not transparent and these guys running the Fed are mere mortals and, and they saw, okay, transparency is the end thing to do, so we're gonna be transparent. We, we're, going to, we're going to tell the world what our, what our plans are. Well, the problem is that all their targets are, are data driven, and they admit this, but they're very, very poor forecasters of the data. I mean, they have perennially forecast more inflation than we've had, perennially forecast uh, sooner and more interest rate increases than they put in, perennially overcast, over forecast inflation, economic growth. I would just say, you don't have to forecast. The Fed's charter is that they're supposed to promote full employment and, and price stability, and they define it as they want to. But it doesn't say anything that they have to forecast. Matter of fact, we did a study. We looked back in 1993. The Fed was not telling the world what they were going to do then. And quite out of the blue, uh, starting in February, they raised interest rates. They raised them from 3% to 6% in a matter of seven months. Huge shock to the economy. We looked at that relative to what they've done since December of 2015 when they started raising rates now. And they've only gone up 100 basis points, 1%. The and, but they've told everybody what they're going to do. The volatility back then, with much greater in interest rate increases, compared to the volatility now, was much less. Now, there are other things that work there, but I think you can say that forward guidance has not been a success, and it has strained the credibility of the Fed. So I'd get out of the forward guidance. I'd get out of the forecasting business, publicly forecasting. Sure, they got to do it internally, but I keep their mouth shut publicly.